I'm Hog. This is the dice. If you saw the blah 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 blah. Oh, holy shit, it's all the way over there. If you saw the most recent vlog video, then you know that we had a little bit of trouble getting all the way up to the Hellfire Club so that we could film some B-roll for the Hellfire Club Irish Folklore video. Now there's a poll currently up on my Patreon for patrons asking whether you guys think I should either wait until I can get up there, film that B-roll, and then put out the video and make other Irish folklore videos between now and then, or whether I should put the video up without the B-roll and just leave it. So yeah, if you want to vote in that, please go do so. There will be a link in the cards and probably the description as well. Or maybe that. Which one? Which one? I don't know. This video, however, isn't about Irish folklore. This is a build process video. The reason why I'm doing a build process video rather than a tutorial is that a lot of the builds I do, including this one, are made from scavenged materials. They're from whatever I can find in thrift shops or lying around on the street or in bins because I'm a filthy fucking scavenger. This one is the same. Uh, I made a backpack out of an old wine box that I found in a thrift shop and some fabric belts that I found in thrift shops. The problem with that is that I can't show you where to get the materials I used, I can't tell you exact measurements or that kind of thing because you're going to find different scavenged materials. You're going to find different stuff. So a tutorial, the, the detail a tutorial would have wouldn't be very much use for people who are going to have to go scavenge their own stuff. But I can talk you through the process I used to build this, and the process can be applied to whatever materials you happen to find. So the theme of this video is how I built this. I call it my Dwarven Ranger Backpack. Uh, I'm I built it because I've just started getting back into LARP recently. I want to join a campaign LARP and I feel like having something like this would be useful. Also because I just walked into a thrift shop and then sold the cool wine box and was like, LARP! And, I, and, 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 then, I, and then I bought it. I'm responsible. So this is the video. I, I hope it's not pointless and stupid. There's the box. It's a cool box. It opens, it closes, it locks. Just checking out where to position the straps here. And then just drilling, just going for it, not marking out positions at all. Just, just fucking tracing along, very professional. Moving to what should be approximately the right place. Same thing again. Yeah, this is, this is my technique. It, 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 it's balanced. It, it, it sits comfortably on my back now that it's finished. It's okay. I'm using fabric belts, obviously, and I've burned the edges uh, to melt them. It's a, what should we call it, synthetic fabric. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm using a wood burning tool to burn holes into them. The reason I'm doing that is it also seals the edge of the hole so it doesn't unravel. Here I'm putting in the socket part of the Chicago screw and then well, screwing in the uh, the other part, <laughs> the screw part. Yeah, what you have to be careful of is not warping the strap too much. You want to be holding that down kind of tight under tension while you screw the, uh, the screw in. I'm using my little ratchety screwdriver. I love that thing. It, it's so great. It makes screwing so much easier. None that way, shut up. What I've done with these straps is I cut the belts in half and then reattach them at, um, at the, the, the buckle point so you can adjust the size of the strap. Um, yeah, the, it works out pretty well and it means lots of people of lots of different sizes can wear it comfortably. There's, there's nothing worse than straps that are too loose. It's really bad for your back. Yep. Matching up uh, pockets that I cut off a leather jacket I bought. And again, drilling holes. 
And yep, yeah, super professional, just going, yeah, this looks about right, that looks like it's balanced. Yeah, that looks like the right spot to drill, I guess that'll do. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a professional. I'm, I'm so good. Leather punch, I need to get a new leather punch. That one's gotten a bit rusty and it's not cutting through as well as I would like it to. Maybe the next time it'll have one in. I'm gonna need a lot more than three holes. You'll see what happens. It doesn't work out for me with three holes. Not at all. I only put them in part of the way for now. Uh, again, so it wouldn't warp the leather too much. And then, yeah. I'm trying to hold the leather so it doesn't warp. That's important to do, because otherwise it'll look weird. And here I go. Here I go with the wood glue. You'll, you'll see exactly how well that works out later. You really well, it's... It's super duper not great. Oh, and I drilled into the wrong place. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, always cut the fabric off the back of the pocket. I can't believe I forgot to do that. I don't know how I forgot to do that. There I go. Get to the scissors. This is my shed, by the way. This is like a tiny pl little building. I can't believe I've got a whole workshop in there now. I don't know how that fit. So yeah, I clamped, uh, I did that twice, two leather pockets, clamped it all together so the glue could set. And, and, and let's see. Oh, uh, no, yep, no, the, the glue did fucking nothing. It did fucking nothing. <laughs> Fucking leather punch needed a few goes at each one because it's a fucking piece of shit that needs to be replaced. I think I had to use a scissors to get the fucking hole the whole way out. Like a little flap got left and just wouldn't cut out out the whole way with the punch. I'm I'm so annoyed with that thing. And now I'm actually marking shit out. Wow, it's like like oh yeah, there I go cutting out the little flaps with the scissors. Fuck's sake. Okay, here I am, properly marking things out like I actually know what I'm doing. You can see I'm pushing the leather in a bit from the side so it's got more give and you can put more things in it. Because you don't want it to stretch too taut or it's useless as a pocket. It's just a pack. More Chicago screw sockets going in there. Just. It's a very repetitive process. This is literally this. Okay, the whole thing, the whole thing. You drill holes, you put in Chicago screws. There, it's done. It's finished. That's the whole tutorial. That's what I did. You, you, you it's, it's fucking done. Okay, it's finished. That's everything. That is it. What more do you want from me? Sometimes putting in the sockets a pain in the arse, as you can plainly see here. <laughs> doesn't always want to go in the hole uh sometimes the wood grain fights you it's uh, it, it's it's super fun super duper fun super duper lots of fun oh no i drilled with the wrong size drill bit didn't i i knew i did that at some point this must have been that point yay <laughs> Now you, you all get to see my, my uh, highly professional work practice. Uh, this this is what I do. This is this is how I go about things. I just like fucking eyeball everything. Finish. You could see there the way the leather was warping as I screwed that in and how I had to correct it. That's why you want to make sure the fabric or leather or whatever material you're using, you hold it taut in some way while you put screws in because it will just twist it around otherwise. Again, pulling the leather in as I mark out those holes so it'll be like not just a flap of leather attached to the side of a box but a, a pouch of leather that could be used as a pocket. <gasps> oh, yeah. I hate, I hate hand tightened drill chucks. I hate them. 
I don't know why they're not all key tightened. It works so much better. Um, I didn't put it in this video, but I did cut off that keep away from fire label on the on the shoulder strap there. Because, you know, that wouldn't be very icy. Uh, most LARPs, it would get away with that. I don't think. It's done! And now my back. And I'm super fucking cool, as you can see. Super fucking cool. But yeah, that is my Dwarf Ranger backpack that I made from a wine box I found in a thrift shop. I, I think it looks pretty cool. I, I also think the method that went into making it was slipshod and random at best. Hey! <laughs>